All right, guys, I'm just going to quickly show you uh, Steph's animation um, and just show you what she's got going on here. Because uh, she's done quite a lot. And just one little thing you've got to look at, which may happen to yours. So I'll just play it. Um, she, uh, we, obviously, she hasn't done the start yet, hence the squiggly line. Um, she's going to go back and fix that. But I'll kind of show you where she's at. But now you can kind of just relax. Just calm for like 10 seconds. Lovely. And I'll show you a couple of things of what we need to have a look at. Love of mine. So you can see how this is. Now see how this is. You'll see close it. Behind. The end seems to flash on and off really quick. Like there. Into the dark. Okay, you'll see it happening there. Or tunnels here as well. With the last frame is really quick. Just our hands clasp so tight. Waiting for the hint of a spark. You can just see these last frames. You can see it here. Like they flash on and off. That they both are satisfied. And illuminate the nose right, so on their face. That looks good. Yeah, it's really quick. So what, what's happening is, so Steph's done all her symbols here. Okay. But how they work, if I go into, I'll go into the heaven and hell one. Okay, so what, what she's got here, uh, which is really good, um, is so here's our frame here, and that, that's in there for 10 frames, and here's where she's made her animation, and so she's changed it. Now, she's changed it on the last frame, which is fine, um, it's a bit hard to see on the screen there, but what happens is that repeats. So it's going to go and play these 10 frames, and then hit that one, but that one's only on there for one frame. So that's only on there for like 1 25th of a second. That's why it's really, really quick. But we don't want that. She wants that to stay on there longer. Okay. So if I kind of play how it is now, I'll slow it down so you can see it. But if I play it now, you'll see there, it plays through those frames, hits that last frame just for that, that brief second that it's on there, and then it repeats again. So what you need to do, what you need to make sure you do in your symbols is when you do your animation, if it's the last frame, you need to lengthen it out. So it plays it for a bit longer. And the easiest way to do that is just grab that last frame, if you right click and do copy frames, it copies that entire frame. Then jump forward, you know, 10 frames and paste it in. All right. And so now what it'll do is instead of stopping and repeating there and jumping back to the start, it now plays that frame for about 10 frames and then repeats. So if I play that now, that's kind of more like what you wanted. So it's playing it and then repeating. So that's what you need to make sure you're doing, is at the end of every frame, there's a few other ones. Uh, which one was that other one, Steph, when they're walking into the tunnel? Yeah, that one? Yeah. So here's the same deal here, where she's got it going, so it plays, and you can just see this flicker. So what's happening is her last frame, which is them going into the tunnel, is only on there for that, that very, very brief second. So when you play it, it just looks like it's this weird flickering. So same deal, grab that last frame, copy it, jump forward. I mean, it's up to you how long you want it on there. So just remember, you've got 24 frames in a second. So how many, how many frames you use is, is how long it's going to be on there. So if I jump forward from, say, frame 12 to frame 25, that's 10 frames. So, you know, you can kind of go, that's about half a second. Um, and if I paste <laughs> that in, bless you, if I paste that in and now play it, it'll just stay on that frame for longer. And that's good. That, now that's kind of what she wanted. Okay, so it's not like flickering. Um, like Jack said, sometimes that works with the, the vacancy sign, but sometimes you want to stay on a frame longer. And that's all you need to do. Just copy the frame, go to where you want it to end, and paste it there. So for basically all of these, if I have a look at Steph's, all of these where she's done that animation, she's done it on the last frame and left it. So again, just copy that frame, jump forward, and paste it. Now the good thing, uh, especially for Steph here, the good thing is... How this works is because you've done all the symbols first and they've got your animations in it and you're placing it into your scene, she doesn't have to go back now and change any of this because that just links back to her symbols. So now when she plays this movie, it will automatically have those changes made because she made them separately. So that works really well. So you can create your entire movie and you can go, actually, you know what? I want to have this scene to have something else in it. You go to your symbol, change it, and it automatically updates your movie. You don't have to redo anything. So that's how having these done separately is, works really, really well. So that's it. So just make sure with your symbols that, yeah, if you want them to last a bit longer, make sure that last frame is um, spaced out just by copying and pasting it.
And that's it. Super simple. All right. Bon Jovi.